I guess I have been hiding under a rock because I have never heard of fried deviled eggs. I mean, crunchy deviled eggs. Does that even sound good? Well, I'm here to tell you today that they are delicious. It is a perfect combination of creamy and crunchy all in one bite. Join me in the kitchen and we're gonna see what all the fuss is about. I'll deep fry some as well as air fry a few for comparison. I'm going to start out by hard boiling six eggs. Now I have a video that I'll link in the description uh, for easy peel eggs. So we're not gonna spend a lot of time on it here. Once eggs are prepped, slice in half lengthways and place all your yolks in a bowl. I'm gonna go ahead and smash these up and make my deviled egg filling. I'll put a, a link in the video also for uh, classic deviled eggs. Today I'm just using salt, pepper, mayonnaise, chives, and a little bit of sweet pickle relish just because I prefer that. That's my favorite deviled egg combination. Now that my filling is made, I'm gonna pop it in the fridge so that it can be chilling. Now you know I will have to be sipping on some sweet tea while I'm working here in the kitchen. It's a summertime staple in our home. Now let me prep my coating for these eggs. My first bowl has my flour and some salt and pepper. The second has panko breadcrumbs, salt, pepper, and Parmesan cheese. And lastly, the third bowl has two beaten eggs. I just make me a little mini assembly line and I'm ready to start coating these. The prep takes a little bit of time, but once you start cooking your eggs, it goes really quickly. I take my egg halves and roll them in the flour mixture. Then I take them from the flour mixture to the egg mixture. Now this part's a little tricky. It's almost like the eggs and the flour repel each other, but keep on rolling and you will eventually get them covered. Once coated, roll it, spoon it over, put it in a bag and shake it, how, however you wanna do, you do you. But get it coated all over with the panko. Now at this point, I'm gonna put a few in the air fryer to see how they compare with deep fried. Once I had them battered, I spritzed them with oil and I laid them on the oval side down and baked them at 390 for five minutes in my air fryer. Now I just have a Kasori basket style air fryer. But let me go back and mention that I did preheat my air fryer for a full 10 minutes before placing the eggs in it. Then I go back into the kitchen. I have my oil getting hot and once it gets up to around 350 I dropped a few of the egg halves in. Now they started browning immediately so watch them close. As soon as they are golden brown remove them from the grease and I place mine on a towel to drain. They only stay in long enough to cook, uh, cook the egg batter and to get pretty and crunchy. Now these three in the front are the air fryer halves and they looked identical. When it was all said and done, they looked identical to the ones I had deep fried. So for sure, next time, I will just use the air fryer. There was no difference in appearance and or taste. Okay, now that you've got them all fried, grab your filling from the fridge. Now I place mine in a piping bag, but you don't have to. You can grab a spoon and fill your eggs that way. Once you get them all filled, just garnish them. I did mine with chives and smoked paprika and give it a taste. Now I will say, this is a new experience for me. Crunchy deviled eggs, but I loved it. 
The bottoms were warm, crispy, crusty, and the filling was cool and creamy, a perfect pairing. Now I do think these would be best made just prior to serving. I think they would lose their crunchy exterior if they were kept in the ref uh, refrigerator or if they were left on the counter for a period of time. If you haven't already, give these a try for a fun twist on the traditional deviled egg. If you enjoyed this recipe, remember to do all the things. Press subscribe, like, and click the bell notification. And don't forget to leave me a comment letting me know your experience with this recipe or feel free to just ask questions. I thank you for sharing a minute of your time with me and I will talk to you later.